Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're looking at the briefcase. Every now and then I like to just dip into my folder full of all kinds of craziness and just pick one out almost at random just to see what I get. And today it looks like we're doing some sort of a horror exploration type of game. I don't even know, like I, I've played the, the first three seconds of this a couple of times to try and set up the controls because, well, let me start this up and I'll show you something a little weird. Look over on the right where it says use and how that's mapped to enter. Uh, well, no, that doesn't make any sense. We're using WASD to move and mouse to look, and then we're going to move our left hand over to enter to open a freaking door. No, we're not. So I remapped that to freaking spacebar because, yeah, that's just what we do. Uh, thankfully, I at least had the ability to remap it because it's one of those lovely setup INI files sitting in the folder with it. And uh, to uh, display this in the resolution I liked, I actually had to edit that as well. Thankfully, the readme file explained where I needed to put those entries in the like game debug line. So yeah, not the most super intuitive game. Uh, I mapped jump over to left alt. I'm not even sure if you need to jump in this game ever, but you can. It didn't even talk about jumping on that uh, description thing. I would have at least added that if it was a possibility. So I'm going to guess we're going to walk around in this building for a while, then something's going to try and get us or chase us or something. Uh, we'll see if it's scary. I don't know. It probably won't be. Uh, graphics look pretty nice, though. I'll give them that. That door is locked. Can't interact with any of these things. See, imagine every time I want to open this door, I have to move my hand over to enter. No. That's stupid. Not doing that. Anyone who's, like, if you've played this once, you should get that that's not something people want to do. Whatever. I won't harp on that too much more, but it's just, like, silly little unintuitive design decisions like that that bug me a little bit. Especially if you're going to have production values where the graphics are fairly nice, like, as it is, you'd think you would consider that kind of stuff. Oh, here we go. You just close that door right back up. So we're looking for a briefcase, huh? Is this the Pulp Fiction simulator? Am I gonna go in and uh, hang out with John Travolta and ask that guy to say what one more time? One of my favorite movies ever, by the way. I dare you. Alright, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Clearly that's part of the fun, though. Uh, that door looks like it's boarded up over there, so that seems like a good place to go. I don't seem to have any kind of maps or anything, so... Should be interesting. Interesting sound that makes. Like a digital shiny sound, and then the sound of a lock closing twice. It's this one. The vibe it's giving me uh, is reminding me quite a bit of fear. Wow, I didn't need to close that. Okay, or maybe I didn't. It may have been timed. Well, obviously I'm supposed to go through that vent. I'm just gonna look around first. Ooh, I can... Hey, I got a key. When does the scary crap start happening? Curious about that. By the way, if two days after I post this video, I start seeing everybody posting videos of this... <laughs> well, whatever. I'll be a trendsetter if that's the way it is, but... It's just, I don't know what the trend is like with all these scary games, like when people need to play them on YouTube and it just gets so blown out of proportion. I don't find them to be generally that good. I mean, there's very little content to them. I'm like stuck in nothing right now, by the way. I don't want to completely trash on these games because it's not like... it. it they could be a lot worse. Um, but it's mostly the reactions that people have when they're playing them. You know, it's kind of hard to defend this game when I'm stuck in the air. Please, just, can we, I'm trapped here. I don't know what the hell's going on. I, clearly I needed to go up onto that thing, right? Clearly? Unless I can, like, open this door again from the other side with no button. I don't know how long I'm expected to have to float around in this. Maybe if I duck, will that help? I'm ducking. Hey! Ducking did help. Alright, so this door does not do anything. Am I supposed to jump up on something else? 
Jeez, you know, I, I figured jumping wouldn't actually be necessary, but it looks like it's very necessary, and they kind of probably should have mentioned it. I mean, call me crazy, but jump up on these pallets, then jump on that dumpster seems like the way that this works. However, no, there's a giant invisible wall right in front of that dumpster, which is preventing me from making any progress. I'm trying to duck jump, too. That's not working, either. Yeah, I played Half-Life. Come on, now. Seriously? What do you expect me to do here? Go in that one? You want me to go up there? No. Maybe I can open the door through the wall. That actually wouldn't surprise me that much. Where's the button on? Is it, uh... It's on this side, I thought. No. Apparently not. Also, why couldn't they have just made open be on the mouse click? Because there's no other thing there. Alright. Well, I guess that's the end of this. Sweet, I got the key. This isn't very good. Um, well, now we're starting to get little spooky sounds, I guess. I don't think I want to wander around this anymore. Uh, let's just back out to the menu again, which is really cute, actually. If you want to start over, you gotta wait through the loading screen again, even though we didn't actually technically, like, quit the game. I mean, I would think that it would just be still loaded in RAM, and we'll just, you know, overlay the menu over it. No, we'd, we'd actually quit. Whatever. Hey, it, <laughs> this is where I was. It just, like, moved my player instance. Let's find the briefcase and get out. How's that sound? What does this tag say? Daz? Daz? I don't know. I can never read graffiti. I appreciate it generally as an art form, but I just really have a hard time reading it. Alright, I really hope we get to see some scary stuff before I get too bored of this, because... I don't want to walk you guys around in a bunch of dark rooms for no reason, and then just turn off the episode. I don't think you're going to enjoy that. And as far as I can tell, this doesn't seem to be randomly generated or anything. Hey. So... I guess that's crappy, because it means that every single time you play this is going to be exactly the same. Uh, let's just run a little bit. Do to do to do to do Not that that's, like, a thing that it has to be. Like, games don't have to be randomly generated or roguelikes or anything like that, but it definitely helps. So this is actually the only place we can go. I wasn't just being crazy when that happened. So if I stand on the other side of this for a moment before I walk through this door. I want to see if this button's just going to auto-close itself. It took like seven, eight seconds, I think, from when I walked out. Or did I actually, like, did I trigger it, was my question, as I was walking through it. Because if it's just an error on the part of whoever made this, that you weren't supposed to trigger this again, and somehow I did while I was walking through it, that could be a thing. It doesn't seem to be closing on its own, so unless I triggered it somehow... I could just make a dash for the key. Alright, I don't want to mess around with that vent. I mean, clearly it looks like you're supposed to go through there, but whatever. Let's make a run for the border. Uh, well, there was, there's a locked door up there. And there's a locked door in the first, like, entry room area. Oh, those stairs are not connected to that. It's very interesting, you know, this is like, it's borderline on the, the high production value line. But it's kind of not. I mean, there's a bunch of little things that I, I mean, I would have just worked on. Okay, that's not it. Thank you for wasting my time. Let's go back over here. Thankfully, I can jump the railing. Do to do to do, running, running, running. Anything on the shelves? Not that I know of. Let's go in here. Uh 
Okay. Something fell. I'm terrified. Alright, so we got Chinese food. Medical kit. It looks like a, either a red marker, like an EpiPen or something. Got the there's duct tape and a hammer. Let's, can we wield the hammer? No, of course not. Pucker Enterprises. Motor parts. What does it say? Coffins on wheels? Wow, that is cynical. Not a good mo uh, motto for your company, I would say. Alright, so I got the key card. Very exciting. Now I can go back up here. Presumably open that door on the left. Leave it to me to find the absolute longest possible path to get through this very simple fetch quest. Are we ultimately going to end up like prying the wood off of that awful, scary, horrible door? Because there is a staircase to go up to it, I believe, so... Why would you make it if we can't go in there? Swipeys! Uh, didn't even make a reading sound or anything. Reasonably tense atmosphere, I'll give it that. I mean, the... Oh, found the briefcase, and there's also a radio playing at the same time. Um, let's go over here first. Flickering lights, those can't be any good. I'm actually feeling a little on edge now. I I'm not sure why. I mean, before I wasn't feeling scared at all. This probably leads outside. Now you got me. If you wanted to scare me, this is the moment. This is not useful. Not yet? Oh, get bent. Not yet. I don't have the ability to push that vent shaft thing out, because it's not the right time for that to happen. Because I'm playing along with the script that's given to me. Whatever. At least they took the time to match up the textures on these angles. That's something they don't usually... But they didn't do it here very well, clearly. These are just stretched. That looked like crap. Alright, so not yet. I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Maybe I'm not going to be able to leave through that door in a moment. Derp, derp, derp. What's this radio do? Nothing. I can't touch it. I got the briefcase, so I'm going to just leave. I bet something scary is going to happen when I try to walk out this door. Oh, it just won't open. Oh, it's making banging sounds. You know, skeptical as I may be, even like even though I'm not particularly scared by this type of stuff, having the sound happening like right in your ears, it does mess with, mess with you just a little bit. So presumably whatever it is that just broke in is going to be like right over there. Oh yeah, at least they knocked the door down, that's cool. And I think like 80% of what makes these types of games scary is the sound design. I mean, most of the time, I mean, when the, even if the graphics are fairly nice, they make everything so damn dark. I did it. Uh, I got the briefcase. Well, uh, you've got to be kidding me. That was retarded. So we got the briefcase, we got in the car, we sped off, and it just drop me off at the desktop. Indie developers never ever drop people off at the desktop. Don't do that. It's really crappy. It doesn't feel good at all. That is not how you finish a game. I don't care what else you do, but don't just quit without asking the player ever. At the very least, like, put us back on the menu screen. Even if you don't do credits or any kind of end sequence, just at least put us on the menu screen, because that just doesn't feel right. So that's the whole game. Uh, I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm kind of relieved just because it's like, well, this could have gone on and on and stretched out to become some ridiculous, like, overblown, you know, a bunch of doors, 
can't do anything with them. It, no, we just, we got to the point, we got the briefcase, we turned around. It's like, it's almost, the twist is that there isn't a twist, which is kind of rare nowadays. So I, I was a little bit just relieved to know that we're not going to go on some ridiculous roller coaster ride that's going to lead nowhere anyway. Uh, it sort of is what it is. It's just, it's done. So that was the briefcase. Um, I would say that this is not the best game, but at the same time, I will give them credit. I mean, I don't know what kind of studio it is, or it's not a studio. It's one guy named Brandon Matisse. I can kind of see the, his name down in the bottom right corner. It's really hard to read, though, because it's too dark. Um, so, yeah, sorry I kind of trashed in your game a little bit there, Brandon. I, I didn't mean anything personal by it, but it's just like, you're almost there. You just gotta, I don't know, develop a little bit more. I'll give you the audio design, definitely the graphics are pretty good. Uh, in fact, that's kind of why I'm holding it to such a higher like level. If it weren't for those elements, I would have probably dismissed the whole thing. But I can kind of see the potential in what you did, and I think that we're pretty close to something pretty good. So, if you took this a little bit further, worked it out, uh, you know, not padded it, but like made some actual events, like, you know, build up some tension, uh, let it go for a while. I mean, there was a little bit of tension, sure, but let it simmer. Uh, give the player a little bit more of a rush, give him a little bit more uh, feelings of terror throughout, instead of just this one shot of adrenaline, and you run away, and you, I, I didn't even see anything chasing me, I just assumed, because I heard sounds. Uh, it would have been cool to know that there was actually something trying to kill me, or whatever. I mean, even if it was a ghost, or a shader, or some kind of effect. Uh, maybe the floor turns into lava, who knows what, everything could turn into blood, you know, horror games do that kind of stuff. But that's not for me to decide, that's for you guys, and for uh, all you aspiring game developers out there. So I, I will say this is not the best game I've looked at on Indie Impressions, but maybe not the worst either. It's uh, definitely better than, what is it, Dead Wake. Um, yeah, so I... I don't know, download it if you want to, I don't really see a lot of people doing much, I mean, you saw the whole game, that's that's all there is. But I wouldn't mind watching uh, this developer in the future, see if he comes out with something better. I don't think it's entirely possible that he will, so. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, remember to head on over to the website, www.indie-impressions.com, where I post every day's video, they're all neatly sorted and categorized, you can set them by uh, all the distribution methods, uh, whether it be free games, uh, I just added trials to the uh, the list there, so you can check the demo ones that I put it. There's only a couple of those, uh, you know, distributed by Steam, Desera, other stuff, and then direct from developers. They're all, you can peruse that stuff. Uh, and then also remember to head on over to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash indie impressions. I post every night's video there as well, so if you want to get a little shot of indie game lovin' in every day's Facebook feed, uh, feel free to add yourself to that, and I'm always happy to see you over there. Uh, and you can also chat with me directly on that. And then my two Twitter handles, at RockleySmile and at Indie Impressions. If you want to add uh, at RockleySmile, that's probably the quickest way to get in touch with me. So if you want to send me game suggestions on there, or just chat, or follow my daily whatevers that are going on, because I do use Twitter quite a bit. Uh, and then at Indie Impression is just so you can see when I post new videos, and they'll get instantly put into your feed for you. So that is about it. Make sure you come back again tomorrow, because I do a new video every single day. Uh, we're getting close to 200 videos now. I think we're at like 180 or so, give or take. I, I always lose track exactly how many it is. This is a lot of videos, and uh, if I'm off by a few, don't bug me too much about it, please. <laughs> but you can always look at the playlist, you know. If you're ever uh, wondering where we are exactly in our indie adventures, go through my YouTube channel and then click on Playlist, and then you can scroll down. You can see the order of all of them as I posted them. And uh, it's kind of useful, you can catch up on the old ones, because there's a lot of decent ones that maybe you never saw if you join me a little later on. But uh, that's up to you guys. If you do, great. If you don't, well, up to you. But thank you again for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely night, and uh, don't let the invisible shader monsters get you. See you later.